welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And I am continuing with my series of this versus that doll com comparisons between dolls that really shouldn't be compared to each other. And today, again, we are going a Barbie Extra Mini versus LOL Tween. And the reason that I have paired these two together is essentially the color theme kind of looks somewhat similar. There's like some neonish stuff going on with this Barbie Extra and there's neon in this one and so that's why I went with these two. So this Barbie Extra Mini, now the Barbie Extra Minis are $16.99 and the LOL Tweens are $19.99. Links down below in the description. Those are affiliate links if you use them. I get a little bit of a commission so I can buy more dolls. Thank you so much. So I think she's really, really cute. For some reason, I look at her and I think, I think, um, ginger spice. And I was not a Spice Girls person, so I might even have this wrong, that wrong. It might be baby spice. I don't know. Um, and then this is Emma Emo. And I'm confused by calling her Emma Emo because maybe when I was younger, when I was young, back in the 1800s, I, I didn't associate emo necessarily with neon, but maybe that's a neo emo thing because I noticed with the shadow high neon uh, dolls that are sort of emo ish, but they're also neon. So please educate me because I wouldn't emo. I always think just sort of darker colors just so that that's confusing me. Let's hang out. Oh, we're going to hang out. All right. And so we've already looked at Marilyn Starr, uh, Mia Royal. And so now we're going to look at Emma Emo. And uh, yeah, I mean, she looks really cute. I really like her outfit. But don't get me wrong. I'm just saying like, I'm confused. So, and you know, what's so funny is I've been saying like coconuts versus pineapples and there's pineapple on here. Okay. So I'm going to get them out of the box and we'll be right back. Hi, they're out of the box. So me. Oh my gosh, I hate sunglasses on doll so much. Also me. Oh my gosh, she's so cute! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be real upfront with you right now. This is a total tie. It is a total tie. So we got $16.99, $19.99, Barbie Extra Mini, LOL, OMG Tweens, both just bringing back so many memories from high school. So just to give you some context, those of you who don't have not done the math, okay? I graduated from high school in 1985. So, <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry if you were drinking when I said that and you spit fluid. Uh, yeah, some, some of you were not yet born in 1985 when I was graduating from high school uh, and starting college, so. But anyway, so in the 80s, we were, we, I just wanna say like my generation, which is Gen X, I'm kind of the beginning of Gen X. Um, and we relate very strongly to the Gen Z gang, uh, which my son falls into. So I think it's good. It's kind of good. We, 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 we all in this house have sort of a nihilistic kind of view of things while at the same time trying to think positively and optimistically. It's our conversations about the world are really bizarre. But so in the 80s, what we were doing, so this is what teenagers were doing in the 80s. We were assuming that we weren't going to live to be 30 because we were all going to be obliterated in a nuclear holocaust. Our reaction to this was to wear lots of neon and dance like we were jumping up and down all the time and listening to Karma Chameleon. So I'm not really sure where we were going with that train of thought, but it got us through. Like the bright colors got us through the just the, the absolute certainty that we were not going to make it. And I am 54. I will turn 55 at the end of this year. I made it way past 30. And I, I did not plan for that. <laughs> so hence why I'm a YouTuber. But anyway, uh, so let's take a look at the dolls. So I just want to let you guys know I relate. And when I say guys... 
I'm trying to not say it because it's not gender inclusive, but I mean it is just everybody. And I'm from the Northeast, so that's what we say. Because if I ever said use, my grandmother would, would, would come out of her grave and smack me real hard across the face. So we it's never a word that I was allowed to use. Y'all, I'm from the Northeast, so we just call everybody guys. But I, I know that I, like, I don't want to sound like I'm not gender inclusive. So I just wanted to explain myself. I'm doing a lot of explaining in this video. I love these dolls so much. I love them both so much. They're going to be best friends. They're going to live together on my shelves, maybe on my desk. This girl. <gasps> so what did I say? I just went over how much I don't like sunglasses, but these are gold mirrored sunglasses. They're obviously made for a Barbie, but when you put them on her, it just makes her look like such a badass. I love these. But now when you take them off, she still looks like a badass. So look at this ginger beauty. I love the way they're doing the brows on these dolls. Just really bold brows. Look at her hair. We've got this beautiful honey colored blonde with those neon yellow uh, rubber bands. And then she's got this streak of orange. So, you know, she's like almost ginger with, with this, you know, with the honey blonde leans more towards the warm colors. And then you mix in this orange and it's, it's something I wouldn't have thought to do. Uh, and it's something that's, that makes me wonder because this is, okay, once upon a time, this was close to my hair color. My hair tends to be warmer, a warmer toned blonde when I was younger, because uh, there's a lot of redheads in my family. I love her hair. I love the style of her hair. I love the little bend to it. I love how long it is. It's not like goopy or anything. She's got these really cute earrings. So her theme is like pineapple, which is kind of odd. She has this little tiny necklace and a denim. So this outfit is basically like denim jacket heaven. And look at this, look at the pineapple purse. It's so shiny. I love it when they do a shiny gold, but look, let me take her off her stand. They, they come with stands. Oh, oh, I love her so much. Look at her. So she's got this denim outfit on. So it's like a tie dye, but in bright colors. Does she have anything under this shirt? Mm, yes, she's wearing, uh, if you wanted to take the jacket off, she's wearing like a little white crop tops, probably a tank top. I love this. She's articulated in her elbows and then her cutoffs are frayed. And look at, I love how this just goes right. Like, you know, she's got this like sunburst kind of thing happening in the middle of her, you know, I, I just, I'm, she's so just makes me smile. And then she's got she got fringed cowboy boots because we were oddly into cowboy boots in the 80s. I had a pair of white cowboy boots and uh, they hurt like you would not believe because they were, you know, not real cowboy boots. They were pretty cheap, I'm sure, if I had them. Uh, and, you know, but I wore them. I wore them whenever I could uh, with my neon, with my neon and my, my mini dresses and my mini skirts and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, that was before I went emo. I went out of, I went out of past, I went pastels. I never was really much of a pastel person. I went out of the uh, bright colors and into my black and gray phase where I've basically stayed for most of my life. And uh, now this is the uh, OMG tween doll and she comes with a stand, which is weird because her stand is like black and then gray. So let me just move you off to the side, my lovely. I love these dolls so much. Like, I think I'm gonna end here. I feel like, I'm like, I should end while I'm ahead here. Um, but anyway, so look at her. I love that they've done like this ridiculous eyeliner, but then also have done modern touches like, you know, the sunburn blush and, you know, the white dots. And, but also included like, you know, neon yellow into her eye makeup. Like, I really love that. Uh, the only thing that would make this doll totally 80s is if there was a dark pink or even a brown liner around her lips. Like, I don't know if you noticed today, but I, I did do that. My liner is darker than my 
my lips, but not by much, but it is. Her hair, um, the, the, the front pieces are super gelled. I'm okay with that because I love the look. And then uh, she came with these earrings. I had earrings almost exactly like these. And this was another thing that we were very into doing um, in the mid 80s was mixing, like wearing two different color sneakers, wearing different colored earrings. You know, we were very into not matching things. Her shirt, look at this shirt. And then she's got that little paint drip necklace. She's got arm warmers. Yes, we started the arm warmers in the 80s. We took our leg warmers and we put them on our arms. This tulle skirt, and this is like where we get goth. So we've got like a skull thing. We've got the arm warmers. We've got sort of the stripes. And then we've got these, these are not real studs. This is just screened on. If, you know, if this had been a rainbow hide, all those would have been real studs. And then we got these two layers of bright colored tulle. And then she's got uh, fishnets on. And then these socks, which don't match, which I love. And then the, these sneakers, if these existed when I was in high school, I would have given everything I had to get these. These, oh my God. Now, the one thing I didn't uh, point out is that uh, these dolls are not articulated at the knee. They just have snap knees, but the Barbie extra dolls are articulated at the knee, if that matters to you. I'm so in love with this doll. I am so in love with this doll. And then her purse. <laughs> Look at her purse. Also, I want this purse. Look at the chain. <gasps> and there's even their skulls on the back and then there's like studs so like you know there's your emo feel she came with like a little hair extension that you know I guess kids could put in their own hair if they wanted and she came with these little barrettes that I just don't feel like like so she's got this like paint drip and these orange hearts I don't feel like there's a place for those on her head right just like I don't feel like that's why I'm assuming this is supposed to go on a kid because this doesn't make any sense but sometimes like sometimes barbie but this is not a barbie because sometimes barbie will do that like they'll they'll like you know throw a hair extension on a barrette into like you know for a kid and you're like well it has to be for a kid because you can't it, well, where would you put this on the doll so uh you know that's that's I, I i'm assuming i don't even know i'm very confused about the little hair extension barrette and the barrettes overall. So let me put them back up here. They are both, they're tied. They are tied for me. Let me see if I can get these on top of her head and make her look kind of cool. They're tied. Now they might not be tied for you. Sound off in the comments down below, but for me, they are gonna hang out together and we are gonna be 80s teenagers together we're gonna watch the breakfast club and we're gonna listen to culture club and duran duran and it's all gonna be awesome and remember the song it's the end of the world as we know it yeah that came out when i was a teenager we get you <laughs> people my age get you we really do we really really do love you guys so much i did it again i said guys i love you all I love yous for my grandma so much. I really do. And thank you for watching. Uh, check out the links down below. Remember affiliate links. I get money if you use them. Thank you so much. And I will see you all again real soon. Bye.